Hi everyone, Megan Swope here from Two Minute Tech. Today I'm going to show you how you can use something called mastery pads within the Canvas LMS to really help differentiate work for your students as it can create unique learning paths depending upon students' performance on earlier assignments and assessments. Let's take a look. So if I go to a Canvas course and I have a module set up with a series of learning activities, the first thing I need to do is to determine how I would like my students to progress through my various learning activities based on their level of success with the various tasks. What I mean by that is if your students are successful on particular tasks, you need to determine how you would like them to proceed through your learning activities compared to how your students who may be less successful on some initial tasks should proceed through the learning activities. To create a mastery path, you need to establish a particular assignment as the pivot point for the mastery path. In this case, I'm asking my students to complete a reading on the causes of the Cold War, which they will all do, and then they're going to take a reading quiz on the causes of the Cold War. For the purposes of this mastery path, this reading quiz is going to then determine how my students proceed through these next three tasks in my module. Therefore, to establish the reading quiz as a mastery path assignment, I will simply click the three dots on the right side and click mastery paths, which then brings me to a mini rubric to allow me to identify how my students will proceed. Canvas gives you the option to have three different paths or directions, if you will, for your students to proceed. You can determine what those breakpoints are for these paths. So I might determine that my top tier students are those students who should have earned between 80 and 100% on that reading quiz. And for these students, I'm going to allow them to skip the causes of the Cold War video and the causes of the Cold War timeline because they already demonstrated mastery on the initial tasks. However, I would like them to complete the US versus USSR comparison. I'm going to check that box and select add item. I can add multiple items to this mastery path either at once or if I made a mistake and need to come back and add another item, it's not allowing me obviously to add the US versus USSR comparison, but I could select another item as well. I will then repeat that process for my lower tier mastery paths. So perhaps I'm gonna have my students who got between 60 and 80% have a choice of either completing the Cold War timeline or Cold War video. To give them that choice, I would select both items. And while the default is for both items to be completed, you notice this ampersand for and, if I click that, it changes the ampersand to or. So my students who earned between 60 and 79 points on the mastery path assignment would then have to complete either the causes of the Cold War timeline or the causes of the Cold War video. My students who are in the bottom third, however, perhaps will need to do both activities in order to proceed forward. And again, I can add multiple assignments to these mastery paths. If I choose to move an assignment, I can easily move it, edit it, or remove it by clicking the three dots in the upper right corner of any one of those assignments. And I can then click Save. With that being saved, if I go back to my module, you will now notice that there is a mastery path established for the causes of the Cold War reading quiz, and it establishes which students are going to complete these particular assignments. This helps give you an idea of how you can personalize and differentiate the learning experiences for the students in your class using this great Canvas feature. As always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Have a great day. So as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me at Megan at TwoMinuteTech.com. Please follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a great day.